an 83-year-old grandpa named Charles discovered an old family photo. When he carefully examined the photo, he got the shock of his life. Charles gently arranged the antique china wares on the high shelves in the attic. He never used them, yet he made sure to clean them every Sunday evening. Looking around the room, he was overwhelmed with nostalgia. The room was where the family kept different household items they didn't need anymore. Charles held every item in the room with high regards. To him, each article held some fragments of his beautiful past. That was why it was almost impossible to give them out. Over the years, his sons, who were already grown, would cajole him into giving some to charity foundations. But Charles was always adamant on keeping all of them, no matter how insignificant. He even had toys and game sets his two boys play with when they were kids. Charles was big on memories. One would call it old people's stuff, but Charles didn't mind. He had lived the greater portion of his life, and now that he was almost at the end of it, every little memory of his family was of great value to him. Moving to the back room in the attic, Charles noticed an abandoned bookshelf at the corner of the room. He rarely cleaned that part of the attic since it was at the back and was not within eye view. But today, he was intent on thoroughly cleaning the whole room. The shelf was filled with dust and Charles realized that it had already become a house for spiders. Thick, long cobwebs covered the books. The book on the shelf belonged to his late wife, Ava, who read books like her life depended on it. He would gladly buy her more each weekend. Charles remembered the glee of her face each time he returned from work with a new book. Overwhelmed with emotions, he made to turn when his eyes caught something colorful in the bookshelf. Out of curiosity, Charles peered closely into the bookshelf. It was a colorful photo album. It was weird. He had never seen the photo album in the house before. Maybe because he scarcely came to that corner of the attic. With shaky hands, Charles blew the dust which had accumulated on the album. Opening the pages, his heart warmed as he saw old pictures of his parents. A broad smile spread across his face as he relished on the familiar faces and the old memories the pictures brought back. They were all pictures of him with his parents at different phases of his life, right from childhood to his graduation from college. As Charles flipped to the very last page, a particular picture caught his attention. It was a picture of him when he was two standing with his parents. Oddly, an unfamiliar woman stood beside him in the picture. Charles thought it strange. He had never seen that woman throughout his 83 years of living. She was beautiful but had a sad demeanor. Her hands were placed firmly on Charles's little shoulders. Charles flipped through the pages of the photo album again to make sure he didn't miss her somewhere. Unfortunately, that was the only picture she seemed to be featured in. Charles was greatly disturbed. He knew he was already old, but he took great pride in his sharp and relative memory. He never forgot a face. Yet as he stared intently at this lady in the picture, he couldn't conjure up any memory about ever meeting her. So many thoughts crowded Charles's head as he continued to ponder. Was she a child of his parents? But he was an only child. Did his parents have a child before him? Did she die before he got to know her? Charles had thousands of questions about this mystery woman and no answers. He thought back to the early years of his life. He had been born an only child to wealthy parents who ensured that he lacked nothing in life. They got him everything a child needed, took him to all the amazing and thrilling places in the country. When he was old enough to go to school, he was enrolled into the best Ivy schools in the country. During the holiday, when they weren't touring the world, his parents would take him to spend some days with his relatives. This was a great opportunity to socialize and bond with uncles, aunties and cousins. Even though he only visited a few times, he knew all the members of his extended family. He could say their names offhand, and not once had he seen the strange lady in the photo. Charles knew he would continue to be restless if he did not get the answers he dearly sought after. Unfortunately, he didn't even know who to turn to for answers. Charles was certain that his parents would have been in the best position to clear his curiosity, but they had been dead for more than 20 years. His uncles and aunties had also passed. Faced with this difficulty, Charles found himself longing for his dad, who had a knack for solving problems. Upon graduation, his father had helped him secure a top job at Ford Motors manufacturing plant. Two years after graduation, he had also matched him with Ava, who he eventually got married to. His dad had assured him that he would have a beautiful and blissful marriage if he got married to Ava. And the old man was right. Their marriage was close to perfection. Ava gave birth to two boys, Patrick and John. The couple doted on the boys and ensured they had a wonderful life. Just as his childhood was filled with love, Charles swore his boys would enjoy a life of love and bliss. Pat and John grew up into promising young men. In due time, they got married and happily settled with their new families. Charles continued to live a quiet and peaceful life with Ava. He smiled as he remembered how their love for each other continued to blossom, even as they advanced in age. Unfortunately, Ava died seven years ago after a protracted struggle with cancer. 
Charles grieved for his dearly beloved wife, but he found consolation in the fact that she died in her sleep, a peaceful death. He had lived alone with some house attendants ever since. Charles suddenly realized that he had actually replayed his whole life in his mind, from childhood to the present, and there was no memory of the strange lady in the picture. They spanned into weeks, and the image of the mystery lady would not leave Charles's head. All he wanted was closure, yearning for answers. He pulled up his family tree to see if he still had any surviving relatives. After days of study, Charles found out he had an aunt who was likely to be alive. Susan was his mother's youngest sister. She had broken ties with the family decades ago as they weren't in support of her suitor. She fled with the man and got married to him shortly after. Sadly, that turned out to be the greatest mistake of her life as the marriage was hellish. Ashamed of herself, Susan refused to visit home. Charles had only heard about her from his parents. Years later, she had moved back to the city but refused to entertain visits from family. Charles decided to visit, hoping against all odds that she would be able to solve the mystery. Susan was already advancing in age. At 92, she could barely walk and was confined to a wheelchair. When Charles got to her house, he introduced himself. Then she flashed a warm smile at him and let him in. Charles wasn't too surprised. Even though a part of him felt she would send him out, he knew that time must have healed her wounds and that she would no longer have room for anger or hate in her heart. He could now see it in her eyes how much she missed her family. After exchanging pleasantries, Charles went straight to business. He pulled out the picture that had been giving him sleepless nights and handed it over to Aunt Susan. He asked her if she recognized the mystery lady in the picture. With shaky hands, Susan peered into the picture, squinting her old eyes to make out the individuals in the picture. She smiled as she looked at Charles's dad holding hands with his mother. Then her eyes moved slowly down to two-year-old Charles. She let out a little cackle as she marveled at how little he was back then. Then moving to the next image, she suddenly grew cold. The smile quickly disappeared from her face and the shudder ran through her. Charles sensed he must have recognized the lady. He became excited as that would mean the end of his investigations. He quickly took the picture back from the outstretched hands of Aunt Susan and asked her what she remembered. To his utmost surprise, Susan denied ever knowing the woman. He saw her countenance change while staring at the picture. Charles had watched her shudder as though she was reliving a terrible memory. He pressed on to make her talk, but Susan was bent that she knew nothing about the woman. Dejected, Charles left the house. It didn't help him one bit that Susan was hiding something from him. It piqued his curiosity even more and made him more restless. Susan's obvious shock when she saw the lady in the picture was a clue to prove that there was more to the mystery, but he couldn't force the truth out of her. Charles was at great odds on the next step to take. He couldn't abandon the case and act like he had never stumbled on the picture. It would feel like he had a heavy millstone tied around his neck. The only way he would find peace of mind was if he got the answers he sought after. Charles decided to begin investigation on the matter, treating it like an official case, but he was no longer as strong and active as he used to be. An 83-year-old grandpa wouldn't have the physical strength to go on field investigations and other rigorous processes involved in uncovering a mystery case. Charles immediately called his younger son John. John was comfortably married with two kids and was doing pretty well for himself. After hearing Charles's story, he promised to do everything in his power to see that the mystery was unraveled. John called in the services of the best investigator in the country. Derek was a professional at unraveling mysteries and decoding cryptic cases. That was one gift he had that brought him to the limelight in the corporate world. Derek used to work for the government as a top CIA agent. But upon retirement six years ago, he had opened a company of his own. John carefully briefed Derek on all necessary information he would need for the job. Armed with the resources he needed for the journey, Derek got to work. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months. Yet, there was no headway in the case. Charles and John grew antsy and impatient. Charles wondered if he would ever get the answers he so desperately needed. He wished he had not even stumbled on the picture in the first place. Now he would live the rest of his life wondering who the strange woman was. Just when it was starting to look like everyone's effort would be a futile endeavor, Derek finally had a breakthrough on the case. He had gotten all the pieces of the puzzle put together and he couldn't wait to share it with John and Charles. He put a call across to John and informed him of his breakthrough. John was elated. He was glad that his father would finally get the closure he direly needed. Charles was overjoyed. Hope surged through him like fresh spring. The trio decided to meet at Charles's home the following day to hear what Derek had found. Derek made it to the house just as the housekeeper served coffee. After exchanging pleasantries, he produced a file containing documents, pictures and articles relating to the mystery woman. Once Derek was sure that his job was finished, he politely took his leave. This was to let the men have enough privacy and space to handle their personal stuff themselves. Charles was anxious to see what was inside the file, 
He cast a nervous look at John, who gave him a reaffirming nod. With trembling hands, John slowly opened the file to digest its content. Within the file were documents, photocopies of births and death certificates of the mystery woman. Also in the file was a single picture of the woman on a horse with a cowboy. Flipping to the back of the picture it wrote, Evelyn and Dave, 1913. That was one mystery solved. The woman's name was Evelyn. Taking all the time they needed, Charles and John went through the rest of the documents contained in the file. Each document in some way contained fragments of the answers they were searching for. By the time they had gone through the documents, the pieces of the puzzles were completely assembled. The true story between Evelyn, the mystery woman was finally out in the light. As the story continued to come together, Charles realized to his shock that he was actually Evelyn's biological son. Evelyn had been the only daughter of Charles' parents. She had met and fallen in love with Dave, the cowboy Charles had seen with her in a picture. Theirs was a rare kind of love. Evelyn and Dave loved each other with everything within them. Though they were teenagers, they already had their future planned out. Evelyn got pregnant by Dave, and a few months later, he was conscripted into the army to join the World War. This war lasted from 1914 to 1918. Evelyn gave birth to Charles and her parents assumed the responsibility of taking care of him. Evelyn was still too young and Dave was at the war front. They adored Charles as their grandson and ensured he got the best care. Two years later, the family got terrible news from the war. Dave had died on the war front. He had stepped on a landmine while escaping open fire. They couldn't even recover his body. The government had conducted a mass burial for the soldiers that were victims of the inconspicuous mines that were set as traps for them. Evelyn couldn't bear the news. Her heart shattered into a thousand pieces. Dave had been her soulmate. She had loved him even more than she loved herself. Evelyn decided that her life wasn't worth living if she didn't have Dave in it. It was better to go be with him wherever he was than to live a miserable life alone with him. Overcome with grief, Evelyn gulped down doses of poison and died a week after Dave's death. After Evelyn's death, her parents were devastated. They were also disappointed that Evelyn would abandon her only son. They feared for what would happen if Charles grew up knowing the true story about his mom's death. They knew it would shatter him and possibly leave him with the trauma he would battle with for the rest of his life. So they decided that though Charles was their grandchild, they would adapt him as their own child. They would hide the truth about his mother's death from him. His grandparents burned every trace of Evelyn in the house. They removed their pictures, clothing and every other belonging she owned. A few weeks later, they officially adopted Charles as their own child. With the death of Evelyn, they had no child to call theirs anymore. It was convenient that they took Charles in as their own. Charles was their consolation for losing Evelyn. With him, they could always remember the daughter they once had. And bearing their own name, Charles could continue the family line. Charles had grown up believing he was the only child of his grandparents. Charles had had no reason to doubt. The couple were young and could easily pass as his parents. As there was nothing that Charles wanted that he didn't get from them, they doted and cared for him so much that it was impossible to believe that the family had a dark past. A sense of relief flooded Charles as he held his parents' photo. He had finally unraveled a part of his life story he never knew existed. Though he was saddened that he never got to meet his real parents, he was mainly bitter at the kind of death they experienced. Theirs was a tragic story, and to some point, he understood why his grandparents had kept it hidden from him throughout their lifetime. Charles was in fact grateful to them. He knew that all he never got from his parents, he got from his grandparents who stood in the gap without hesitation. Charles could only wonder what his life would have been with his real parents if they had not died. John, who had been with him all along, caught him in a warm embrace, consoling him. At least they found what they had been looking for. They had found closure. Now they could live the rest of their lives in peace, passing down the history from generations to generations to come. What do you think about Charles' discovery? Feel free to share your comments with us in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.